So who is going to control the skies for last mile deliveries? Stick around and I'll tell you who I think the top five are going to be and in what order they're going to dominate the skies. Stick around. Hey, this is Charles Draco Ariel. So we all know about the remote ID going on. And there's just so much stuff in the works right now. Big lobbyists in Congress. All fighting for this 0 to 400 feet to control the drones and the drone industry. And they all want to make deliveries. I guess as a society, we have gotten either so lazy or... We need gratification now that we can't go to the grocery store anymore. We can't wait for UPS or FedEx to show up with a package that we ordered five days ago. We've got to have it now, and it is going to end up completely destroying the recreational drone users and the small business 107 pilots. This is all going to end up going to big corporations. Why do I say that? Let's look at the top five corporations that are wanting to take over the drone industry. And this is just my prediction of what's happening. I may be right, I may be wrong. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're into the drone industry, whether recreational or for business, you may think that I'm not far off of what's going on. All right, so who are these five that I predict are going to completely take over everything? And you'll probably be surprised at who I put at number five. All right, let's do this. All right, so number one. Well, before I give you number one, let's look at what needs to be in place for these different corporations to dominate. Okay, so for the last mile deliveries, of course, some of the drones they're working on can travel up to 15 miles beyond visual line of sight. Okay, but let's start thinking about what you have within 15 miles. Because the company's got to have some sort of base of operations, and they've got to have a large customer base within that mile to 15 miles. Let's just say one to five miles, they have to have a large population that they're going to serve to. So it's all going to be supply and demand. Okay. Number one, this company just started really getting into it at the uh, middle to end of 2019. It's Walmart. They've already launched their pickup service. They've already launched their home delivery services. Next is going to be drones. They did a study and they feel that 49% of their customers would benefit from drone delivery. I can really see it going that way. Um, let's just get the product to them quicker. They'll order more. So yes, Walmart is going to be my number one prediction. My number two prediction is going to be the Alphabet Company. Google's parent Alphabet's wings. Now, who are they going to be delivering for? Well, one of them is going to be FedEx. Now, you may not have a FedEx store within a close geographical area to a lot of people, so you can't quite reach out, but they also deliver for one other company. And they're looking at delivering for Walgreens. Walgreens are everywhere. We've got two Walgreens. They're like maybe a mile and a half apart. So I would cover 15 miles one way and 15 miles the other way. So you got Walgreens and FedEx underneath Alphabet Wings. 
Wonderful. The next one's going to be UPS. There's UPS stores popping up everywhere. You can operate drones out of those. UPS has already started their drone delivery service with a medical supply company. The FAA has already allowed them to start it. It's already coming. Number four, and this one will probably surprise you, Domino's. Yes, Domino's Pizza. Believe it or not, if you did not know, Domino's Pizza made their first drone delivery of a pizza in November of 2016 in New Zealand. So Domino's has already, three, and a, three years ago, delivered with a drone, delivered a pizza. All this consumer stuff. Walmart, I don't have to go to the store anymore. Walgreens will deliver my medication. Domino's will bring me pizza. UPS will bring my packages. Oh, wait. Who did I not include? One of the biggest players everybody talks about. And the reason I put them at number five is because... Yes, they have big distribution centers in almost every state. Some states have multiple distribution centers. But they don't have them in every single town. Like Walmart is in almost every single town. FedEx, Walgreens, UPS, Domino's. Almost every single town has a hub for one for these corporations. Amazon made number five with me. Yes, they're the one dumping the most money into this, but they don't have a distribution center in every single town. Doesn't mean it won't happen quickly. I can see it being an investment. So yes, we have Walmart, we have Google, we have UPS, we have Domino's, and we have Amazon. Those are the five I'm actually tracking really close right now. As I find out more information, I'll let you know. But let me know what you think. You think there's other players coming in? I mean, do you see McDonald's Corporation starting to lobby Congress next because they want to deliver right to your house? I see a lot of changes coming. And, of course, it's going to end up Controlling the skies to where recreational and the small business 107. And when I say small business, I'm talking the real estate photographers, the construction mapping, the videographers, the photographers that are out selling their photos. It's going to end us being able to fly. Is there something we can do? No. I wish there was. But... Consumers versus a small group. We're still a small group, believe it or not, even though there's so many of us. We're still small compared to everybody who's got to have their product now. I can't drive down or I can't wait 20 minutes for somebody to bring my pizza. I need it now. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. Until next time, keep flying safe and I am out of here. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.